So they decided to remake the Vacation movie. I don't know how I should feel about this. Hey everybody, welcome to the Dano channel. I am Dano, and I just got done watching the new Vacation movie. The new version of the Vacation that just came out. Now, strangely enough, it doesn't have the National Lampoon's label on it, but it's definitely a movie that is related in story to the original National Lampoon's Vacation. This time around, we've got Ed Helms playing the role of Rusty Griswold, who was the son in the original movie, but now he's all grown up and has a family of his own, and a wife played by Christina Applegate, and two hilarious kids who I didn't even look up their name. Now, keeping in tradition with the original Vacation movie, this time around, Rusty Griswold decides to take his family across country again to visit Wally World. Now, while this may seem like it's just ripping off from the original, it's definitely its own movie, and the movie is so self-aware that it even makes a joke about it early on, that this movie is not the same vacation as the original vacation, and that it can stand on its own. Now, luckily for the movie, it did have enough good humor and funny jokes to stand on its own in its own way, but I have to warn you, do not be expecting a great, awesome movie. The movie was good because it was just stupid, fun humor. I definitely laughed. There was a great reaction from the audience. Everybody had a good chuckle. But it was by no means a good or great, great movie. It was just a fun time. And I know you're probably wondering, is it worth seeing? I love the original movie so much. Do I really want to ruin it by watching this one? Keep in mind, this movie is not a replacement for the original Vacation, but as they said and they joked earlier, it is a whole new movie in the series. Maybe they'll do more later down the road. I don't know. But this movie was actually pretty hilarious. A lot of the humor actually came from the Griswold's new kids, which instead of being a boy and a girl, this time around it is two little boys. The youngest who has the worst potty mouth ever, is actually the funniest. Now, this movie in the very beginning is paced really quickly with a lot of just funny joke, 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 joke. Towards the middle, though, it does get a little bit slow. And then it picks up the pace again towards the end. It is nice that the movie has a lot of throwbacks to the original. You get to catch up with Audrey, the sister from the original movie, and it does feature Chevy Chase and Beverly Angelo reprising their role as Clark and Ellen Griswold. Now, parents, be warned, this is not a movie for kids at all. It is rated R. There's a lot of really, really crude humor, a little bit of nudity, a little bit of dudity, and there's a lot of foul language, so parents do not, unless you're cool with it, but don't take your kids to see this movie, unless there may be an older teenager, or just flat out an adult, because they say some pretty bad stuff. Now, speaking of the bad stuff that is said, most of it actually comes from the youngest son, who I'm guessing in the movie is probably about like 9 or 10, and it is hilarious. This little kid steals the show, but of course he's stealing the show by just saying ridiculous obscenities and being the rudest person ever. Now, without spoiling too much, I have to tell you, overall, this movie was a good, fun time. I laughed a lot. The crowd laughed a lot. I came home and I talked with my girlfriend about it, and we both said, you know what? We enjoyed this movie. It was fun, but don't compare it directly to the original. It is a fun movie on its own, as the joke said right in the beginning. So I would say go see it, but be prepared for stupid, ridiculous humor. It is a very funny movie, but don't be expecting anything super great out of it. It's just a fun time to go laugh. So I'd say come with a sense of humor or don't go at all because it is not a movie to be taken super seriously. Now guys, I hope you like watching this spoiler-free review. Let me know what you thought about the movie down in the comments below and I will see you in the next Dano Channel video. If you're new around here, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Throw this a thumbs up if you thought it was at all helpful and I will see you next time. Goodbye.